Okay, today we're going to put things together here. I've got an idea in my head about a scene. And uh, you see here, I did this the other day, just sitting around here goofing. And uh, thought that, you know, a skeleton with a couple of vultures should, I should be able to come up with something that will be pretty interesting and hopefully kind of humorous. So anyway, I went ahead and I made my base. I've got my uh, oak. Always use a good hardwood when you're making your base if you can, because you want your carvings to look classy, and furniture grade wood is the way to go. So there I got a piece of oak. I got a piece of basswood here for my second stage plank. And then I've got a piece of just old paneling here, which will be covered with a Bondo mixture and scenic. That'll go on here on top. So uh, the scene's going to be something like this. I'm going to have a stick here. It's not going to be this big. It's going to have a sign. And my two vultures are going to be perched on that sign. So to make the post for the sign, I went out on our property and found an old dead cedar tree. Uh, you can see some of the cedar in here. The reason, reason I use cedar is because it doesn't rot. It will eventually rot, but it'll last a lot, lot, long, a lot longer than a regular tree. So I always stick with cedar. And uh, this one's pretty clean. It's been pretty old. So what I have to do now is I have to cut this thing down to uh, match the sign that, or the, the post that I'm after. So I think that that's going to be about right there. I like these things here. I'll probably whittle them away a little bit but I like little protrusions like that and what you don't want when you're making a sign like this you don't want something like this that just looks terrible it'd look better if you lean it back like that but it'll actually look a whole lot better if you use a piece of uh, natural material and you do that and uh, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about as we put this thing together so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this off right up there and I'll go do that okay I've got my stick cut off I'm not going to throw that away that's got a lot of possibilities in it so I'm just going to set that aside for something else so what I want to do now is I want to knock off all these little uh, branches small branch that are broken off but will interfere with my sign when I put it on there. Okay, so I'll just get my glove on and I'll do that. So just take your knife and just kind of cut those off. When you do that, you don't want to cut into the main part of the stalk. You want that to uh, stay the same. Now that sign's going to go right up here in this area, so these are going to have to be cut down right flush with that main stump. Probably that one there. And if you cut upwards towards the end of the stump, it's not going to split. Take that one off. I'm going to take this one off about right here. And that one there, I don't know about it yet. We're going to leave it leave this and this for the time being. What I'll do eventually is I'll come in here and I'll chip this all out and disguise that cut to where it looks like it's worn off. Okay? And this one here, now that our sign will go on there without any kind of interference, we have to remember that our birds are going to be perched on here, so we're going to have to have I don't want this one sticking out too far. Now although this may look fragile, believe me it's not, it's really solid and even that little one up there is too, that's the beauty of cedar. So okay, now I've got my pole so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take it over to my Sandiflex and clean it up. Okay, you can see that that Sandiflex wheel 
really polished up that old piece of wood and now we really have a nice looking piece of wood. It's taken all the old dirt and old bark off of it, even, even did it up here on this little bitty sucker that's sticking out on top. So let's just position our sign on here once more. Now we'll have a bird sitting right there and one sitting out here on this side. Let me take a little figure and get this thing in there. Let's just hold it right there a minute. Set this, yep, it's going to work great. So I'm going to just position that right there and as you can see I've got a little uh, bump right there that I'm going to get rid of because I want this sign to set flat against this post. Okay? So to do that, I'll just whittle that off there as much as I can. Like that, and I'm going to drill a hole, a hole down through there, where it's going to be nailed. So I've got a bump. I'm going to take that over to this sander over here and sand that thing perfectly flat. Okay, I sanded it flat. Now, what I want to do here is. Uh, I like this branch and I want as much of it to show as I can so I'm going to raise my sign up high enough to where I get this notch to show through on the bottom. That's just going to make it that much more interesting. I'm going to move my holes over just a bit. Like that. Okay, I'm going to drill those holes. I don't think you need to see that. Right on there, I just put a couple of real small brads in there to hold it in place while I go ahead and assemble this thing. Now, I want a bird to sit right there. And I want a bird to sit right there. Maybe I'll put the big one there. Kind of looking down. And the little one here, kind of looking down. That's going to look neat, isn't it? Okay, so to mount these birds, what I have to do is I'm going to put posts right there where each of them are setting. Now by posts, I can't use a wooden dowel because that's not going to be strong enough. What I will use, though, is a nail. Just find a finished nail or something and uh, we'll drill holes in this sign, down into the sign, to uh, support these birds and then it'll go right up into the bottom which remember I said don't whittle this area down here which we will then whittle to fit to fit up into the bottom of that bird where that would just sit right on there like that okay so that's the next step okay I have here a couple of six penny galvanized nails now, I like using galvanized nails because they have a real rough surface and when you put some glue down in these holes and you put these nails in there, uh, that rough surface is going to give you just that much extra holding power, okay? So I'm starting off with a small drill and I'm going to drill this down into this uh, sign 
and watch and make sure I don't go through the front or the back of it. It'll be deep enough. Okay, now I'm going to switch up to a larger drill. Alright, I've got an eighth inch drill in here now. This should work out pretty good. It's just about, yeah, that'll work out fine. And you can see it really has good grabbing power. That old rough surface will work out fine. So I'm going to go ahead and drill this one. kind of leaning forward so I'm going to drill it at a slight angle. See there? Now I'm going to get my nippers and I'm going to nip off the head of this. Take just a second. See there, he's, lean, whoops. <laughs> he's leaning a little too far forward there. Let's hold that back on there. Now let's put this one in. Well, wait a second let's, before we do that. Let's go ahead and drill this one. This guy, this guy over here is looking perfect. He's looking right down at that guy, which is just exactly what I want. This guy here, I'm going to have to modify him just a little bit to get his head to turn around more this way and maybe get it out there as a telephone. So there we go. You can see, let me get that out of the way. You can see where we're going with this thing. I think it's going to make a pretty neat little, uh, little scene. And I think we're about at the end of this video. In the next video, I'll go ahead and, well, in between now and the next video, I'll go ahead and carve these fellas just, you know, just by using the old pencil, pencil lead trick and set these guys right down on this sign to where they overlap it. That'll look good. And I'll go ahead and uh, do the sign, finish, not painted, but go ahead and uh, shape the sign a little bit more. I'll put Bondo on this piece here and uh, I'm going to drill a hole in the bottom of this and it's going to go right there and the, ho the hole in the bases will go through this, through this, and through this but not through the bottom. So this uh, post is going to be real firmly anchored. 
All right, and we'll do that in the next video. So until then, I'll talk to you later.